Hey everyone, so today I am on my way to the lymphedema clinic. Um, they're going to do manual lymphatic drainage massage and then a multi-layer compression wrap. Um, this is something that I used to have to do all the time. I used to sleep in these wraps every night um, for the last seven years. I uh, kind of turned my back on Western medicine and, and uh, did the holistic thing and really took care of myself. Uh, my leg used to be uh, almost triple the size of my right leg. Um, the swelling's not bad, but I've been dealing with a lot of things with pain and um, a lot of other issues. Uh, seven months ago, I uh, got back on track with my diet. Um, I actually um, went raw vegan, um, which is really drastic. It's a real high alkaline diet. Um, I'm not really swelling, but I'm to the point where uh, I got to get some stuff taken care of. So right now I kind of feel like a failure. Um, I'm frustrated. I don't want to do this. Um, but it's part of living with lymphedema. And I refuse to let lymphedema get me down. I refuse to let lymphedema win. Even though right now it feels like a win for lymphedema. Um, I know that I'm being a baby and that it's not a big deal. But it's a big deal to me. Um, so this is uh, part of my journey. I'm going to go ahead and put a little video together. And we're going to go through this together. Um, again, this isn't a new thing. It's just something I haven't had to do for a long time. Um, I'm going to do this today, Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday, and then Thursday I'll go in and be fitted for my new um, custom compression garment. Um, again, I know uh, a lot of you are in worse shape than I am, and, and you probably think that I'm, I'm being a little too emotional, but this is real, this is how I feel. It's uh, because I, I've worked so hard to not have to do this, and it's uh, frustrating, but um, lymphedema still isn't going to win. I'm still going to live a normal life and uh, probably get a lot of looks over the next few days all wrapped up like the Michelin tire guy. <laughs> I'll show you my sexy leg when, uh, when I finish. And you're going to go around the foot and you're going to come up to the big toe to the base of the nail and you're just going to layer it. And I'm not pulling it tight. I'm just layering it and that's where you're going to feel like you have compression. So I'm here at UCSD, um, just finished manual lymph drainage massage and now my amazing therapist mm -hmm. is doing a multi-layer compression wrap. She's starting with my, my toes and then she'll go up and, and do my entire leg. Um, as you guys know, I'm being a big baby about this and I don't want to be here, but of course I have the best possible person working on me. Um, so um, I'll just kind of let the video run. We'll do a, maybe speed it up or something so you can kind of see what happens. There's your foot. Yay. Okay. All right. Um, you're going to start where you left off, and uh, you're going to go proceed up the leg. I'm going to put one more thing over it just to keep it from sliding down. Okay. I need to go grab it next door. Okay. So, 
Um, here's my sexy leg. I will be putting sweatpants on. I'll cut the I'll cut the leg out of my sweatpants in a second. And uh, so as you can see, not a real big deal. Um, any of you who watched my video that I put up years and years ago about self wrapping, she wrapped a little bit different than I used to, but um, it feels great. So here she is. <laughs> okay, this has a little bit of compression. Okay. So I'm going to just put it at the, um, over the top of your thigh. Okay. Okay. Perfect. Yay, pretty sexy, huh? Yeah, very. Nice. All right. <laughs> so um, we're still on day one, and... Um, as you know, I started off this day with a bad attitude and kind of feeling sorry for myself. Um, you saw I went and got a manual lymph drainage massage and she wrapped my leg. Now, um, I never seen anybody wrap quite like she did. Um, and it didn't last even an hour. It is all buckled down around my ankles. Um, all of this is like all down here. It's pinching here. It's buckled around my ankles. Um, obviously when it buckles, it's not only almost impossible to walk because of its extreme pain, but, um, it could actually cause great harm to my lymphatic system, obviously, uh, because it's blocking. So I can't have that. So I had to go through my closet and find all my archived bandages. Um, this little guy is a, to, because when you wrap these, you have to wrap them with tension um, so I'm going to have to take all this off and rewrap and, um, I'm not, I'm not really happy about it. Um, I'm in a lot of pain right now. Um, it's over 90 degrees outside to top it off. Um, so I did get a cool shoe out of the deal though. Don't be jealous. So, um, yeah, um. I guess uh, if if you want to watch, you can watch. Maybe I'll have see if we can fast forward this or what. But yeah, this was just a, a absolute waste of time. Um, the massage she gave me was great. Um, I like her personally. I don't have anything against her, but what a waste of time because now I have to take all this off um, and redo it. Uh, she told me, oh, make sure that you walk around and stay active. <laughs> it didn't even last an hour. It was down around my ankles. So I don't know how exactly she thought I was going to stay active when, when she didn't, you know. And, and again, I've never seen anybody wrap with only three bandages. So it's usually um, one bandage one direction, one bandage the other direction. Um, and they kind of hold themselves in place. But... Um, it is what it is. Um, trying to decide right now if I'm going back tomorrow because I have things to do. I was just at the studio with a client. Oh, four bandages. See, I miscounted. Um, so I was at the studio with a client this showing them their portraits and my leg was throbbing so bad. I, uh, I could hardly stand it. I just wanted to cry. I wanted to get out of there. Um, her foam's a lot nicer than my old foam. My old foam uh, is quarter inch. This is a lot thinner. A little bit more comfortable. Um, it's still pretty dang hot. Um, yeah, so um, I know most of you always see me with a smile and a positive attitude. So I hope that you seeing me as a human having a bad day doesn't ruin your uh, perception of me. But yeah, today has not, not been a good day for me. Um, you can see how wadded this uh, is. Um, so imagine all that with, with all the bandages on top of it, cutting into my skin. Um, and of course that was going on all the way down and around my ankle. Um, it's already frustrating enough that I have to do this, let alone 
Uh, now I have to do it again. Um, so I'm trying not to complain right now. I'm trying not to be a big baby. You know, when I was in the in there waiting, um, you know, I saw people that were in there because they had strokes and they were trying to learn how to talk again. And you know, it kind of made me feel guilty for for um, for feeling all sorry for myself because I know I'm considering I've had lymphedema for 18 years. I know my leg looks amazing because I work hard at it, because I take care of it every day and I watch what I eat. I make sure I get sleep. I make sure I do everything. Um, but I still have the pain and I'm still having some flare-ups that I'm trying to figure out, you know, what to do. And um, so, yeah, it's, it's, it's frustrating to say the least. Okay, I've got all my stuff wrapped up. I've got my old bandages out. Um, the reason that I used these foam was um, the, the areas that are problem that swell a lot, you put an extra layer of foam down. Um, this is how, how I've always done it, how I was taught. Obviously, it's not how she did it. And... Um, um, kind of feel like her way didn't work so I finished wrapping my leg um, I got a phone call and it kicked me off of uh, recording so I rewrap my leg and uh, we'll see how this goes uh, and uh, two more days of this so I know my life is great and all I'm just being a baby and pouting about it right now but every once in a while everybody gets to be a baby and pout right all right, I'll talk to you soon. So it's day two of my uh, my hell week of wrapping. Um, I'm not as emotional about it today as I was yesterday. I'm still not really excited. Um, when I got home yesterday, um, as I showed you in the the other video, um, the wrap had um, came loose and and uh, slipped, and yeah, I had to redo it. So that's frustrating, and of course, having to sleep in it is frustrating. Um, pretty much the 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 census is everything about this is frustrating to me, but I have a better outlook I'm looking at it as a maintenance plan um, Not as a, I'm a failure and my legs swollen again, so I'm um, trying to have a little bit more positive outlook today um, having my my protein shake and then headed out to uh, Get massaged and wrapped again day two so here we are, day three, headed into UCSD to get a massage and get wrapped. I've got my bag of uh, supplies, my wraps, my sexy boot that I'll get to wear over my wraps. And then um, this is my last day of having to be wrapped throughout the day. And then after that, um, tomorrow I'll go in and be measured for my compression garment. So uh, having a lot of pain in my leg today. Hopefully uh, she can be a little more creative on uh, foam and and uh, wrapping and getting uh, some of the swelling around my ankle down before I get measured. So here we go. So I'm here at the lymphedema clinic. She just did the massage. Um, she's gonna get some foam and kind of get creative right here. We've got a lot of pain and some swelling still. Um, but all in all, um, my, the swelling's down like crazy much. It's only a couple centimeters bigger than my other leg. Um, again, just dealing with a lot of pain today, so we're being a little creative with some foam. She's gonna wrap me. Try to see if we can't get this, cause this is, um, of course, my muscles and everything are just pissed off with being wrapped. Um, so. Yeah. 
the bandage is taped to the foam, so there's a little hole in oh, one of the foams. Okay. I did when I pulled the bandage off. I didn't realize it was taped, and okay. I was like, "Oh crap!" <laughs> Let's be on the other one. Good morning, it is day four and I just took my multi-layer compression bandages off, took a shower, um, put jeans on, uh, pretty excited about wearing jeans. Uh, I'm gonna take Sammy to school and then I go in to get measured for my compression garment and for my night garment. Um, and then I don't have to go back to get wrapped until next week and then I just do this once a week uh, for a while. So uh, it's like I said, good, feels good to wear tennis shoes and jeans and uh, be done with the, the painful wrapping and the, the pain in the butt. So um, we did it, um, it was uh, successful. My leg is like a, roughly two centimeters um, bigger than my, my right leg, which is, that's pretty good, that's great. So anyways, um, that's it, this has uh, been my my grumpy week and uh, next time that you guys hear from me I will be more positive and happy and uh, ready to take on the world all right thanks a lot guys so I was excited this morning and told you guys I was gonna go get measured um, pretty much the whole reason that I did the compression garments for the last three days which you all heard me pout and complain about um, Boohoo, poor Peggy. Um, I'm uncomfortable. I, I don't like it, which is true. I hate um, because you know, for seven years, I uh, wore a compression garment during the day and every single night did the bandages at night. And then sometimes I had to do it during the day when things were bad. So um, not only is it uncomfortable and painful, but it brings up just terrible memories in my life um, because you know, I've worked so hard to. Um, to get the freedom um, and, and to do better and to live better. So um, I was so excited. I was like, yay, I did it. I got through the three days. I'm My leg looks great. It's only a couple of centimeters bigger than my regular leg, blah, blah, blah. So I get there to get measured. And um, my insurance only takes um, one place in town. Um, they, other than that, I have to go to Long Beach, California, which is, uh, I'm in San Diego, so it's it's a little bit of a drive. Um, and obviously your leg swells when you drive Catch-22, and you know, you want your leg to be as skinny and sexy as possible when they measure you. So, um, anyway, so I get there this morning. I have an appointment at 9.15, I get there. Um, things were pretty unorganized. I went and changed into my shorts. There was no room to measure me in. It was just like out in the open in the in the uh, entrance in the waiting room, which, you know, I'm not a real bashful person. I have shorts on, so, you know, but you get a little personal when you're measuring, so whatever. Um, um, the kid that was measuring me didn't look like he had a lot of experience, which, you know, that's how it goes sometimes. You don't have experience, you, uh, you learn. And uh, I had asked him a couple of questions because, um, you know, I've been doing this for several years and um, the way he was doing it, I'd never seen it done that way before. Um, and I was like, hey, um, is this all right that you're doing that? And and he seemed to get very upset and offended with me for, for asking. Um, and, you know, I was being very careful because I didn't want to, uh, you know, upset him. I just simply was like, hey, it's, I've never seen it done this way before. Explain why you're doing this. Um, and he got flustered and uh, went and got a supervisor. His supervisor came out. Interesting, he uh, reeked of uh, cigarettes and alcohol, like reeked. And we're now at like 9.30 a.m. And so, you know, I'm like, okay, <laughs> a little awkward, but whatever, right? So um, they can't find the measuring charts. They're trying to tell me, I need this and I need that. And I'm like, no, we need to go with what's on the prescription from my doctor. My therapist, my doctor and I have discussed my, my care plan and we're gonna stick with what they want me to do, not what you, Mr. Never Been to Medical School or anything, um, want me to do. So 
Anyway, um, again, I realize this is the only place in town to get my garments, so I'm totally smiling a lot, biting my tongue, not, um, not, not saying anything because, again, <laughs> kind of want to get this garment. Um, he's poking and pushing on my leg, which is extremely painful. My leg is very sensitive right now. I'm in a lot of pain, um, uh, which was really unnecessary, but he was diagnosing what kind of lymphedema I had anyway um and giving me all of his wealth of knowledge tips which i'm sure you know i'm sure he sees people all the time so you know I, i'm trying to again keep my attitude in check realizing that i i kind of got to deal with what i got to deal with but it eventually got to the point where um i couldn't not say anything anymore because um i, I know for a fact that uh, the way they were measuring me, my garment would not come back correct. And I said, you, you've got to measure this right and put it in the chart correctly. Um, you know, get a tape measure, get a marker, let's mark my leg off, let's, let's do this right. Um, because I don't want to have to, you know, wait for six to eight weeks for my garment to come in, it not fit, and then I have to go through the three days of bandaging again, and I, I just can't do it. Mentally, physically, emotionally, I cannot do this again. Um, on top of the fact, who knows if my insurance is going to pay for it again. So uh, I said, you know, um, you know, and so this kid, I said, you know, please explain to me, you know, maybe, maybe this would be easier. I'm trying to be tactful. And he got all upset and offended again. He's like, I can't measure her. You need to measure her. He says to the, to a supervisor whose name's Ken, or I think they were calling him Ken for short. It's a, it's a longer actual name, but anyway, um, Ken last initial T. Um, anyway, um, yeah, so Ken comes over and, you know, he was like, no, you measure her. And, you know, they were, it, it just got stupid. And finally I said, you know, this is what I have to deal with here. You reek of alcohol. And this guy gets offended every time I ask a question. I go, come on, guys, this isn't rocket science. We're measuring my leg for a garment. Um, the supervisor, my friend Ken, got very offended. He said, you're offending me. Get out. You'll have to find another provider. We won't work for you anymore, blah, blah, blah. So um, here I am, I pretty much just flushed that all down the toilets, what I did, yeah. So um, I did get the measurements uh, for the Juzo. Um, they're not real accurate. Um, I actually used to work with uh, one, of, one of the guys in, uh, in the Juzo company and I had emailed him this morning and said, when they couldn't find the charts and said, hey, do you still work there? Can you send me um, a measuring chart? So uh, he called me and I was like, well, actually, I don't need a measuring chart anymore because I just got kicked out of the place, blah, blah, blah. So uh, anyway, he's sending me the measuring charts. I'm going to measure myself. We're going to get this taken care of and figured out. But so, yeah, um, this has not been a good experience for me. Um, the insurance, um, uh it's ridiculous uh, that the insurance does not does not work with lymphedema patients. Um, it's ridiculous that it's it's you know a compression garment allows people with lymphedema to live a normal life, to stay active, to participate in life, and the insurance companies, you know, don't don't work with it at all. I don't know how much uh, custom garment costs. I know. You know, six, seven years ago, it was running around $900, um, you know, every six months. And, and most people can't afford to do that. And uh, it's, it's, it's frustrating, to say the least. So um, I'll keep you posted. I'll show you my new garment when it comes in. And uh, thanks for listening to all my vents and pouting over the last four days. And uh, I'm going to go measure myself and uh, go forward with or without these people. Thanks a lot, guys.